everyone knows that EVP stands for Employer Value Proposition. The value the employer proposes to the employee or the prospect about what it's like to work there. Now, my favorite part of that term is value, but it's often the most skimmed over. Value is one of those words where you think you know the definition and you think you understand what it means, but once you start to look at it, you realize, whoa, what do I mean by value? Now, in my world, in my way of thinking, I think of value in two sides. There's the objective side and the subjective side. The objective values are very simple. They're facts. This job pays this much money. It comes with this title. It comes with these benefits. It comes with this PTO. You're expected to work two days a week in the office. You get free lunch. Ob objective values, facts. There's no hedging. There's no fudging. There's no spin. If I say you're getting paid 80,000, that is what you should see in your paycheck every two weeks. Subjective values are subjective, meaning I'm going to tell you how innovative we are or how much more control over your destiny and your, your kind of work will be. I'm going to tell you that we don't do micromanagement. We're very collaborative. Now, if I tell you that we're incredibly collaborative and you show up and you don't see that collaboration, it's simply a sense of, oh, we must uh, see collaboration the same way. We must not define collaboration the same way. Collaboration is subjective. Now, here's where things get interesting. Subjective values are way more powerful than objective values. The problem is we don't believe the subjective values, but we know that those objective values are facts. So if you want to attract a better level of talent, a better quality talent, lean into your subjective values. Prove them beyond a shadow of a doubt. Make them feel like facts. Don't just say, you have a lot of control and agency over your work here. Prove it. I want to see videos. I want to see testimonials. I want to see names of people who agree with that. Not only agree with that, but explain it. Illustrate it. Show it off. Give me a sense of what that subjective value shape really is. Everybody says they have great customer service, but does everybody allow you to return items that you didn't even actually buy there? Because that's what some companies do. That's what they mean by customer service. They've really well defined their subjective values so people know what to expect. So when the next time you think about your EVP, don't just skim over that word value. Think about what are your objective values that you offer and the subjective values that you offer. And how well are you proving the subjective? Because that's where a lot of power for your employer brand lives. Thanks for listening. I'll see you later.